Hey, are you sick and tired of RimWorld mods taking forever to load? Oh boy, am I! Rim's Load Up is here to save the day! Wow! In today's video, I compare a few different mod loadouts to see load time performance differences using Rim's Load Up, the amazing new mod from Malty Schultz. This mod is the practical result of long-running conversation on the Luden forums about more optimized ways RimWorld could load mods. I will be using another great mod to actually do this comparison. This one was recently released and I believe has flown under the radar for many. Startup Impact from Automatic. Why are you yelling your nickname? Who hurt you? I have links to both of these mods in the description, so if you haven't checked one or both out, I highly suggest that you do. In this comparison, I'll be using three different configurations of mods. These different configurations will be available on my pastebin with links in the description for anyone who wants to check them out. The first set of mods I will be using is my own custom stack of mods that I keep adding to. My goal while creating my mod list is for a balanced playthrough that I can enjoy. This includes several popular mods and many cosmetic mods. The second set is a very basic Lord of the Rims mod set. Lord of the Rims was very notorious for adding to load times upon its release, although that does seem to have improved. I originally planned to include a fourth mod set from my friend Timothy over at the Rimworld Community Facebook page. However, due to an unaddressed bugged in startup impact, I was unable to get an accurate loading time for this particular mod list. Automatic was already aware of this bug, but has been unable to replicate it. For our final mod set, I have a really load intensive set I found on Reddit. Reddit user Zazalin says that this mod set takes about 10 minutes to load on their system and was looking for mods to actually remove from this list in this particular thread. This is exactly the kind of mod list I have been looking for to really test what load up can do. Let's talk about my test methodology before we start. When adding Startup Impact to the game, I am adding it after core. The description for Startup Impact says to load it first, but doesn't specify if it should be loaded before or after core. I found that Startup Impact appeared to function correctly regardless of whether it was loaded before or after core, but the comments thread on Steam seemed to suggest to load it after core and above anything else to obtain an accurate measurement. Startup Impact can be found here on the main menu to access its measurements from the mod currently loaded. I found load up times to be consistent upon reloading RimWorld with the same mod set multiple times, but not upon the very first load up of the given mod list. This is likely due to the need for some mods to initialize settings. My crucial MX500 1TB SSD seems to really provide steady and consistent results with only a few applications running. Let's, Let's have, have a quick look at the system I will be using to conduct this testing. This is my regular daily driver PC. The test system is a Ryzen 7 2700. Included is an ASRock X470 Tai Chi. Two 8GB Corsair Vengeance currently clocked at 3000 MHz. A 1TB M.2 Crucial MX500 SSD. And two MSI Vega 64s. Suffice it to say, this PC is no slouch. During my testing, the only applications running are Steam, Corsair IQ, and Windows 10's built-in antivirus software. I believe these applications represent common apps that most people would have running during regular play. Also, between testing different mod lists, I allowed each mod list to load up completely on the system once, to avoid any mods not being fully initialized. It should better simulate loading up a previously loaded mod list. So, here are the results. The surprising part about these results isn't so much the fact that Loadup actually works and does what is advertised, it's just how massive of a difference it makes even on a serious gaming PC like mine. Core by itself saw a loading decrease of nearly 39%. This may only account for 5 seconds difference on this system, but perhaps systems that have trouble loading up vanilla by itself would see a sizable benefit from using RIMS Loadup. The basic Lord of the Rims mod list only saw a difference of 5 seconds of load up time, or 6.35%. I don't think this mod list was really heavy enough to tax my system. However, it should be worth noting that there are only 29 mods in this particular pack, and it was only 6 seconds off from my mod list with 93 mods in total. Lord of the Rims indeed is still a system intensive mod set just to load up. My mod list was 13.5 seconds faster loading with load up. 
just shy of 16% faster. Finally, we have our real challenger, Zazalin's mod list. This mod list contains 204 mods and took Zazalin over 10 minutes to load on their system. Seeing a whopping 44.5 second increase in load times, Zazalin mods list sees a decrease of 25% in loading time. Rim's load up is a must have mod for anyone playing RimWorld period. It doesn't affect gameplay and those with systems or hard disk will likely see the most benefit from it. Even for a higher spec machine such as mine, the load time increases across various mod sets all improved without exception. This mod does what is advertised and hopefully will become even better as new methods are discovered to increase load times. Startup Impact is a mod that you can use to discover if there are mods you simply do not want to deal with because of the time they add to loading the game. You could also possibly use it to see if things like defragging your hard drive will help improve load times, or perhaps you just installed and migrated over to an SSD and want to test just how much faster things are now. Mod developers could possibly use this to see what changes in their mods are having on their load times, without resorting to more painful methods such as analyzing game logs. I uh, hope you found this comparison helpful, and if you liked the video, what you saw, please um, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. This channel won't remain entirely focused on RimWorld, and I will be branching out into other games and even retro-style content. Thanks for watching.